So how does your body use calories? You hear it all the time, calories in versus calories out. But what does that actually mean? So let's try to break it down so that you can understand in more simple terms. Your body burns calories uh, every single day in four key ways. Number one, you have what's called your BMR, which stands for basal metabolic rate. This area, you burn 60 to 70% of your total calories. This is the number of calories your body burns just to keep you alive. Breathing, organ function, heartbeat, and brain activity, to give you an example. Even if you laid in bed all day, you'd still burn most of your calories in this area. Now, if you want to raise that number, you need to build more muscle. Now, muscle burns more at rest and during activities. It is your metabolic currency, hence why you need to lift weights as often as possible, three to four times a week. Number two, you have what's called NEAT, N-E-A-T, non-exercise activity thermogenesis. This burns about 10 to 15% of your calories. Now, these are the calories you burn doing everyday movements, walking, cleaning, fidgeting, or standing. Taking the stairs, walking your dog, uh, pace during phone calls, or all this stuff adds up. So the more you move outside of the gym, the better your metabolism starts to work. We are not made to be sedentary. Motion is lotion, you gotta get moving. Number three. EAT, E-A-T. This stands for Exercise Activity Thermogenesis. This is where you burn 5 to 10%. This is the energy you burn from actual workouts, lifting weights, cardio, HIIT training, etc. Now, it matters, but it's a smaller piece than most people think. That's why you cannot out-train a bad diet. I've said this so many times and so many People in the fitness industry who are at the top level will tell you the same thing. Number four, TEF, thermic effect of food, is five to 10%. Now, this is the energy your body uses to digest food. Protein has the highest thermic effect. You actually burn more calories digesting protein than carbs or fats. So, if you're eating high protein, you're automatically giving your metabolism a little boost. That's why I love my steak and eggs. Now, here's the takeaway. If you're not losing fat or not gaining muscle, it's not just about your workouts. You need to look at your whole system. I can't emphasize that enough. Everything has to do with how you're going to see results. Are you eating enough quality protein? Now, some will argue vegetable protein is good as meat protein. I disagree. You need meat protein. Are you moving enough outside the gym? You can't just train and then sit on your ass all day. That's not going to work either. Are you getting stronger to build more muscle? Are you training to build muscle? That's hypertrophy. Are you recovering well to support your metabolism? Are you sleeping? Are you rest, taking your rest days? Now, if you want help getting this dialed in for your body and your goals, DM me calories and let's build a custom plan using training, nutrition, possibly peptides, if you need to optimize your entire system. You can reach out to me, Coach Gary at powerbuilding.com or Gary Miller Fitness on Instagram.